toilet's broken. I can't wait for these airplanes to get fixed. Good morning, my name is Jimmy. This is Jimmy's world. And I bought three abandoned airplanes. This is one of them. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. That may have been a really bad choice. We had a Bonanza that we did two days ago. Crap, I don't even know. We've been here a while. You can tell. Wife told me not to come home till we had some airplanes that were working. I haven't been home yet. Uh, we got the Bonanza. You can see the link to that video in the description below. We got this jewel right here. The link to the video somewhere down below or up here over there. I don't know how this whole face tube thing works. And then today we have what's behind door number three. It is a, what is that thing? It's a 1955 or 56. I don't know what year that is. It's a 310, got two engines, two money to noise converters, and uh, it hasn't been even outside of that spot where it's been sitting for, who knows, 10, 20 years? Try 37 years. Yeah, I didn't find out that it was that long until after I bought it and I had a chance to go through the log books and look at some other paperwork and documents. The last time this airplane was flown, or from my best understanding, 1984. Well, come on, let's get to work. Well, let's see what is that right? Wow. Oh, that is. Hey, it's got white paint underneath this. Look at that. Oh. Oh. And lots of mouse love. All right, see the stall horn works? Yeah, we're good. All right, what do we got? Under here, a Smurf bed sheet or something. Oh. That tells you how long that's been there. Oh, there's carpet on top of it anyway. All right. I can't the carpet. First time this airplane has seen daylight in 20 some odd years. Wow. Do you think it'll start? I don't know, the guy wouldn't let us take the covers or anything off of it to even look at this engine. So I kind of bought it sight unseen, just hoping for a miracle. That is, needs a wash and it's ready to go. Those look pretty good. Okay. Joel, that's a big mouse home. Yeah. All right. Woo! 
Yuck. Oh, there's another one on that side. Oh. Yikes. You know what? We're going to roll this up. <laughs> First time actually seeing the entire engine. Okay. Doesn't look too bad. Yeah. Got a little Illinois anti rust. That's good. That's good. Okay. You know, just for giggles. Let's check the oil. You. Oh, that's really gross. 12 quarts. Hey, that actually smells okay. It's like a nice golden honey. Looks like honey. Yep. I'd say uh, 40 weight. Well, let's pull some plugs. See what's inside. Huh, yeah, this thing looks pretty good. All right, let's see how it rolls over. Okay, you're hearing the, the snap, crackle, pop of it wanting to to light the fire. Now, I'm gonna take a couple batteries. It gets heavier every single day. Alright. Positive on this side. Negative on this side. So if you take 12 plus 12 24. Hey, that light's on now. Sweet. Is it flashing? Yeah. Look. Hey, the strobe is on. Hey, the beacon on the back turns on. Oh, the strobe light turns on. What? Oh, yeah. Our taxi landing light, whatever that is. Oh, the green one on this side is flashing on. Is there one on that side? Yeah. Oh, there is. Oh, the bottom of the rear strobe is flashing. They're all working. Hey, look at that. I think the red. Look at the big, red beacon thingy on top. Yep. Yeah. I think the red on this side was not. All right, so we got a, the red one on this side yeah. is not turning on. Huh, okay. One light bulb while the other landing light. I don't know if we put that. Oh yeah, it's bink dunk, bink dunk. The gear light works. Okay. Oh, right landing light. Oh. Look at that. That is stinking cool. Yeah, will it turn on? Hey, look at that! <laughs> oh, we doggone! That's awesome! That is fantastic! Oh, the light, the radios are lit up now. Oh, no, they weren't. Just kidding. All right, let's see. Hey, that one turns! All right, clear it low. Where's the oil pressure on this? Oil pressure right here. Is that for, oh, this is the right engine here. Let's crank it and see if we get oil pressure. Oh yeah, that thing goes over. It likes it. RPM is kind of alive. Oil pressure, are you gonna move it all? Should here in just a second. It takes a little bit. Oh. Hey, the needle's moving just a tiny bit. Oh, there we go. It's moving. There we go. There you go. Drink it in. Mmm, slushy. Love it. Love it. Yes, into the green. Hey, I am a fan. Look at that. What? Bam. I'll take it. Sweet. We got oil pressure. We don't know about the fuel pressure on that side. 
the fuel selector valve on this thing. Where is that? I decided to come over to this one because the fuel pump on this engine turned on. That fuel pump did not turn on. So we're going to see if we can fire this one up first and then maybe there will cross feed or prime the system or fix the fuel pump on the other side, something. So here, oh yeah. And I have not seen this engine yet. The guy wouldn't let me touch it. You can see no, not even fingerprints on this thing. So I have no earthly idea what's inside here. Okay, no mouse, mouses jumped out at me. Meese? No meese. No meese. If it's more than one mouse, it's a meese. <laughs> oh yeah, the baffle is all new. Let's see, those are, <laughs> there's so much, <laughs> there's so much stuff on here that you can't tell what the screws are. You just gotta guess how far over they are. And then, shovel away the dirt and see if there's one there. All right, for the first time in 20 years or so, this cover is coming off. Oh, there's no blanket on this one. That may not be good. All right. Oh, wow, those wires are really, oh, they're borderline crunchy. All right, first plug looks absolutely brand, that is a brand new plug. It has never been fired. Look at that. That is absolutely brand new. I'm feeling optimistic. Oh, the windshield is creaking because it's seeing the sun for the first time in 20 years. He said he bought this in 19, 75 and he got his multi-engine rating in this airplane back in 75 that was a long long time ago shoot that was even before i was alive wow he's on this thing for 45 years 46 yeah this is you can tell it's his baby and he's uh He's having a rough time letting go, which I can't blame him. It is a beautiful airplane. And we are gonna see about getting that girl back in the air. All right, let's see if it turns over. Okay. You know what, let's see if it turns over oh. with the uh, with the whirly button. Whirly button, all right, clear prop. It works. There we go. Now let's see if we can build any oil pressure with this one. I should have checked the oil first. Eh, it'll be all right. I'm sure there's plenty in there. Mm -hmm. There we go, it's starting to move. There you go. We're just gonna burn that sucker out first time around. There you go. I like that. I like that. Get on in there. Get on in there. Hoo -ah! I like it. I like it a lot. Nice. So that's primed. Ooh, flaps. Look, right here. These ones right here. Oh, it's underneath. Here, go outside and see if they, they go down. Are they going down? Yeah. Are they really? Yeah. What about the other and side? The other side, too. The other side? Yeah. Oh, man, that's cool. <gasps> Are they going back up? Yeah. That's awesome.
Wow! That's a lot of folding out in this airplane. Yeah, this thing's full of secrets. I think we can check the oil now and make sure it has oil. <laughs> <laughs> after, after we primed it, is it on this side? No, it's on the other side. Some honey in in here. <gasps> yeah, 12 all the way. It looks look at that how new that oil is. Oh yeah, that is that's good stuff. Honey oil. Yeah. Very weird. There you go. Okay. We got the starter works on this side. We got the cylinders lubed up. Now we got the fuel. I think. We're going to put some fuel in this thing and see if the fuel system will work now. Do you see anything leaking? So far, no. How much are we going to put in here? All of it. Yeah, why, why hold back, right? Oh, golly, that is broken. Oh, here we go. Turn it off. The fuel gauge even works. Hey, this one might actually be able to fly home. Yeah. That would be awesome. I think uh, she's ready to see if we can hit the fire. We gotta put that cowling back on it without getting some sort of illness. Here we go, fuel flow. Yep. Okay. Crack the throttle. All right, uh, ignition. Right mags are on. Make sure the mags are on. <laughs> yeah, I just did. Do you uh, have the fuel pump on when you start it? Yeah, put the fuel pump on that side, you know. Roger. All right, clear prop. Just crack the throttle, you know, and the mixture up and down, and then she's gonna run. All right, cross feed down here. See the left engine, the right tank. We're gonna look for fuel pressure over here. There we go. So we got fuel pressure. Crack that throttle. Idle cut off. Mags. All right, roger that, here we go. Clear prop. You know, I wonder if we're out of gas, if there's just not enough fuel in the system. You know, according to this, if we were in California, uh, this would cause cancer. But since we're not in California, we're good. Oh yeah, there it goes now. Fuel, the fuel gauge is working. Yep. Yeah. All right, that one up, crack that. Mags are on. All right, clear prop. Came up. I guess I don't need to yell. Oil 
oil pressure came up, we got fuel flow. No earth idea if that thing works. See, now that one's going on. I wonder if those are backwards. Man, this was the easiest one ever to start up. That is amazing. All you needed was gas. You really did, just throw some gas in it and take off. Other than three inches of mouse poop and pee, <laughs> this was easy. Step one, check, it started up. Both engines started up, running a little bit rough. So here's my choices. I can stay here for another week and work on it, try to get this thing running correctly. I mean, I think it would make one trip. Uh, boy, 1,100 miles is a long ways. If you know of other hangar finds, barn find airplanes that deserve a second chance at life, my contact info is in the description below. Let's see how many we can get in the air. My name is Jimmy, this is Jimmy's World, and welcome to my world.